Um, can you tell us a bit a bit more about the course setup and organization? So we know that the course lasted 12 weeks uh, and it was a module on evidence-based practice, right? Yeah, exactly that. So to provide context um, at the University of Greenwich, I set up a new occupational psychology MSc. Um, and the thing with these sorts of courses, because they're accredited by the British Psychological Society or the BPS, is that a lot of the core notions of what we have to talk about, the core themes, the core uh, modules are the same. And so this module was designed to be the unique selling point of that course that whilst you know you could do something in coaching or you could do something based on a, a particular research expertise I thought actually giving people a, a good grounding in this kind of critical way of thinking is actually quite a, a significant benefit particularly as occupational psychologists tend to sell them on the basis of sell themselves on the basis of being evidence-based practitioners so the practice of it is uh, that it is 12, 12 weeks um, it consists of uh, a pre-recorded lecture, so that tends to be about an hour long, uh, simply because nobody can bear listening to me for any longer than that. I know that. Um, and then it's it's a two-hour face-to-face seminar. And my, my philosophy on this is always, if you're going to be face-to-face, -face, it should be practical, it should be skills-based, it should make the, the use of having people in the same room. So whilst we can deliver the more kind of theoretical basis and some some core ideas through the uh, lectures and the pre-recorded content, it's actually really important that we spend time engaging with that and working out how to apply those and turn those into practical skills within the face-to-face the -face sessions. And then in addition to those kind of what, what universities would call kind of timetabled activities, I've also started collating some activities, resources and signposted reading around each week's theme so that typically for the two weeks, face, uh, two hours face to face, an hour online and then between one and three hours of kind of practical structured learning outside of that. And again, it was trying to cover all those those different kind of, um, you know, if we're going to be online, then we've got to think about what what type of content can be applied in that sort of thing. And so it works to kind of distribute that and also to give a little bit more freedom so people can, if they're particularly interested in a particular dimension or how this relates to a particular field or uh, specialism, then they can go down and, and uh, you know use those skills to apply that within that. So the module broadly fits four themes. Um, I go on about these every week and everybody must be incredibly bored of me describing them but I think it's really important that you can label the skills that you develop so the, the idea is that you can identify evaluate synthesize and then apply evidence and so the whole module basically covers those four dimensions from start to finish so how do we identify and generate evidence to all the way to how do we then push it through the the process to make sure that people policymakers, and practitioners use that evidence and there was an interesting uh, paper just uh, last week, I think it was, stating how uh, REF evidence statements demonstrate that it takes about 10 years for research to actually influence practice. And that's a long time. And so actually, it's really important that we get we get the evidence right in the first case. We call it we develop high quality, robust, rigorous evidence in the first case. And so that's where the kind of open science content tends to trickle in is that it covers that whole process from thinking about it to now I have to do something and how, how do I know what to do what's the best thing 